You do poor wireless. There we go. All right. Kids painting lessons, episode two. Hello, Hello. and welcome to another edition of COVID Kids Community Kids Teaching Kids. Kids. Today we have Arlen and Madeline, and they're going to be showing you how to create beautiful art that you can do and follow along with. Madeline is up first, followed by Arlen. Madeline, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm... How old are you? Six and a half. Okay. And what are you going to be painting today? I'm going to pa be painting um, this unicorn. Okay. Because, um, because at the, the last episode, um, the, the unicorn got one vote and the popsicles got no vote. So we're doing the unicorn. Okay. Perfect. And you're going to be showing everyone how to paint that? Yep. Okay, perfect. And what do people need to paint it? So, so this is the time, parents and kids, to get your supplies ready. And if you sure. are, you didn't watch the last episode, it, we painted this mermaid. Very cool. All right, so what do we need to paint this unicorn? It's beautiful, it's bright, it's rainbow colored. Show us what we need. So you're going to need any kind of red. It can be a dark red, like this. Okay. And we can do felts or crayons or paints, right? Yeah, and you don't have to use a canvas. Okay. It can be a it can be a piece of paper. Okay, great. So red. So you're gonna need red. It can be dark red, whatever kind of red you want. Okay. And you're gonna need green. Okay. It can be a dark green, a, like a fart green. A fart green. Okay. Okay, for our rainbow unicorn. And you're going to need a dark blue or anything. Uh-huh. And you, you guys can use make purple or mix it, but... Okay, how do you mix purple? Well, blue and... Blue and red you can try. Yeah. Or you can try blue and pink or something. Okay. So... I'm actually using this purple. It's a little ink purple. Okay. So you're going to need a purple. Yellow. Okay. And you don't really need white. But I'm using white for making a pink. And you're going to need a pink. It can be a pink that you already have or you can mix the pink. I'm mixing the pink and you're going to need white and red. To make the pink? Yep. Okay. And, and you're going to need, it can be a crayon that's gold and can be paint. You're going to need a golden marker or crayon. Okay, and that's for the horn? Or pastel. Okay. This is for the horn, see? It's golden. The horn is markers. Okay. And if you want to, I'm probably going to trade draw like the unicorn outline here and then do it in sharp this marker okay. so you probably need to get a, need a pencil uh -huh. to to do that and then trace it in sharpie okay. and so you're gonna need this isn't a sharpie it's a paint marker but you can use a sharpie okay. and a pencil okay. and that's all you're gonna need excellent all right so what's our first step? Um, the first step is I think um so the first step is to get your pencil. Okay. Or you can do this in Sharpie. Uh huh. If you really think you're good and you don't need to practice with pencil. Yeah then you can use pencil if you don't think you're that good you're that good but mm -hmm. if you think you're really good at drawing the out the outline of the unicorn then you can use sharpie but i'm using pencil okay. because i could make a mistake so okay. makes sense all right so let's draw the outline oh and if you need a mock a smock a, a smock then you can um, put it on right now. And maybe we can at least roll up your sleeves. Eh? Yeah, you can roll up your sleeves. 
There you go. Um, so I'm really good at painting, so I don't need a small. Okay. So right. I would start with... So here we go. We're starting our unicorn. So tell us what you're doing as you begin. Um, so you're going to draw, like, a line about, like, that big. Okay. Like, like this. Uh-huh. And then... And that's the start of the neck? Yeah, and then I think we should... Then We've got gonna... 12 people so far. We're yeah. doing great. Welcome, everybody. Hope you're having fun. But And we're painting yeah. this unicorn, just remember. Um, and then you're going to, like, whatever side you want your unicorn... So maybe it has to be so long. So if you want your unicorn to be facing that way... Like that way, it's face to be facing that way. Then you're gonna draw a line on this way. But if you want no, unicorn to be yet. facing this way, then you're gonna draw a line there and then um, leave that part blank. But I'm gonna make my unicorn facing that way. Okay. So and then you're just gonna keep doing the line, kind of make like a Okay, I need a ring. Oh, you need an eraser? There you go. I made a little mistake, so I'm just going to use the eraser. So, if you made a mistake, and then you're just going to go like... Alright. Yeah, this is way too big of a head. Well, no pressure, right? We're just going to work on it until we get it the way we like. Before we worry about painting it, right, Madeline? Yeah. So then you're just going to keep going like that. And it depends how big you want your unicorn to be. So if you want it to be really big, like then you're going to go like that. But if you want it to be like small like this, then... You're well, you need room for the horn too, right? Mm-hmm. But if you do it that big, you can just do the coin and the horn. Oh, you can fit the horn no matter what, hey? So. As, as we're drawing, we're going to give a shout out to some of the people who are joining us from around the world. Kathy, good morning from California. Cora, it's so fantastic to have you join us. We're super excited to see your unicorn at the end. Take some pictures and post them either when you're done or in progress. We'd love to see them. And Kelly and Adeline from Ottawa, welcome. Thank you so much for joining in today. I hope your drawings are going well. And her, through the grapevine, I hear Emma and Adeline are really talented artists. So we're super excited to see your work as well. You want it beside or under? So then... You good? Okay. So then after you draw like that line, it's probably going to like turn out like that. Just like see how you have that and then curve. So, yeah. All right. Shall we keep going? Get the ears or the horn or, or the nose? So... I would Madeline, no pressure, but your SK teacher, Miss Norman, is watching you. <laughs> Welcome, Miss Norman. And then you're going to, like, probably, like... And Sarah go. from Woodruff is also watching. Sarah and Asama, welcome. Thanks so much for joining in. As you're going along, feel free to take some pictures and post, or at the end, when you're done, we'd love to see your work. This is about creating community, okay, so we yeah, really I just want to share. Okay, yeah, I just made a mistake. All right. Well, Madeline's working on her on her outline diligently. Hope everyone else is uh, doing the same. And feel feel free to keep going back until you get what you like. And you can erase it as long as you want because I just made up like a huge mistake. So then you can like. I cannot do this. So maybe since I cannot get this right, let's move on to the ears. So then you're going to go like that and like... Okay. And then... I am really bad at drawing 
like the heads of the unicorns playing, so I'm not that bad, but Melanie and Claire from Woodruff Avenue Public School, welcome. So great to have you. Thanks so much for tuning in. So, Let us know how your unicorn head is coming along. And as you can see, art is all about a sort of inventive process and going through the motions to I, get it right. So we might like move the ears not just right beside each other, but the hair is supposed to be popping out like that. Um, So you can like Okay. So what sorry? And you will it was right there, right? It might need to be a longer video before you can do that. Because it's right near the end. So then you're just gonna do that and then like draw. Oh, I really like, like those ears. So then we got like the head of the unicorn. So there you got the head. So then you're gonna like. So what part are you working on now? So the the hair between the ears. Okay. But I'm probably going to erase that and just leave it like that. Well, the nice thing is when you're working on a white canvas, you can always go back and cover anything up that you don't like with white paint. That's something we often do. So, if there's some blemishes along the way, oh, that's a great horn. Yeah. And then um, I'm probably just going to move on to the... Of the the full mane? You're gonna do the whole mane? I can't keep looking down. I need to put it. Do you want to put it beside, Madeline? Would it be easier uh, if it's right beside? If we kind of put this here no, and this no, here. Gonna, it's easier to put it up there. Okay. It's not easier for our viewers, unfortunately. So maybe we'll move back a little bit. So then we're gonna like, there we go. Uh, like that. So there you got its hair. This is a terrible part. Okay, where's that pen? Alright, and for everyone watching, we also want to make sure you stay tuned as we get through the entire unicorn. Arlen will be up with a bowl of fruit to paint. A very nice uh, uh, impressionist still life. You want to give us a little preview, Arlen, while Madeline perfects her, her sure. name? We can't do that. Okay, there we go. So stay tuned, everybody. We've got a full hour of exciting art utainment. You want it to come out? Mm-hmm. Can't always be like that. Here, we'll loosen this up a bit. There. Is that better? All right. Well, I'm trying to help you, Madeline. So, um, I made a mistake. So, you're not going to do like what I just did. I just erased that. It was terrible. Oh, I wouldn't say it's terrible. You're just trying to get it the way you like it, right? Mm -hmm. I think getting the outline the way you like is the tricky part, right? And then the actual painting is the fun, more fun part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're just putting in, putting in the, the initial work to, to lay the foundation for what's going to become an amazing painting. Now it's coming together with those nice eyes. Oh, you can really see its personality coming out. Nice. Nice, Madeline. This looks great. Very nice. So, so now what? you're going to take 
Your Sharpie? That's the wrong way. And, um, then you're gonna outline it. Well, this is not a Sharpie, but... Well, that's a paint marker that you can get at paint stores like Wallace. And Sharpies work on canvases, but I find after a while, the, the tip gets worn away by the texture of the canvas. So if you have the opportunity to get an actual paint marker, it's really handy for doing these outlines on canvases. And then you're going to go like that. And then, as you saw that I skipped, um, the hair, now I'm going to do the hair outline. And now, you're, you don't have to do, like, all that. You can, like, trace as fast as you want, but. And then, and if you don't want to, but the painting's supposed to have a line right there. So the air I outlined it, so then you're going to close it, you probably know that, and you're just going to put it back. And then, hmm, we should probably start with doing the horn, so then you're going to get your golden marker, or your golden crayon, or whatever you want, and then you're going to color the horn. And don't make there be too much white. You can do the horn rainbow, but it won't go very good with the hair. So I'm saying golden. Or it can be yellow. I normally, when I'm doing drawings of unicorns, I normally do the horns yellow because there is no golden marker. Okay, so then what should we do Okay. So then you start drawing your lines on the horn. But you don't have to, but that's how this video is. Okay, so. Last time. All right, so we might have had a little drop out there. Sorry, guys. Can we just have a recap? So you did your horn there. You used your black marker and your gold marker to fill in the horn. Now, if you and don't now, have gold, what could you maybe use instead? What would be a good color like, if someone doesn't have gold? It can be like a pattern like blue, purple, and it can be yellow. It can be any color you want, but do it golden if you have a golden marker or anything. All right. So just get your red and then... And you ready to do red? It's, it's the rainbow, so you should follow like the rainbow hair. Or you can do the hair just blue. Whoa, whoa. You're supposed to do it. Woo! Red. Let's get some of that on the on the palette there. Okay. Okay. What paintbrush should we use? Maybe. Um, so. Um. All right, everybody. So while Madeline's finding her paintbrush, so we just want to let you guys to know you want to, if you're just tuning in, Madeline's working on a unicorn. There's the original unicorn, and now she's drawn it out in pencil, outlined it in black paint marker or sharpie or whatever you have handy, and now she's starting to color her rainbow mane. And stay tuned because later, after Madeline, we're going to have. Uh, Arlen up is doing a beautiful still life of a bowl of fruit. So, I just was doing something with the hair, so you don't have to do that. So, you could get like a paintbrush like yeah, this. Grab a nice flat brush. 
And then get your red. And we just have a nice palette. It's over here on the side. There we go. Real nice. <laughs> just get your paint ready. And away you go. That's looking great. Oh, I saw Juan Carlos. Hey, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Look at this. You're part of our set. There's a couple drawings, collages of yours from many years ago when you're in Ottawa. We uh, got those from you. So you're here with us in spirit and online. Hey, buddy. So after you did that, you're going to wash your paintbrush. And then normally I like wash and then rub it with paper towel. That's good. Take care of your brushes. There's because nothing worse if, than a dry day if brush. If you wet it and then you choose your color and then you start painting, it could like ruin your painting. It gets pretty runny, eh? So then you're gonna put your paper towel back and you're gonna mi you mix an orange or if you already have one, but we have to mix one. So if you are mixing, get red and then yellow and then. This yellow is pretty crazy. Wow, want me to take that off? Wow. So you can actually squirt some? Look there you at go. how crazy this is. So then you're going to get some yellow. Alright. And you're going to get your paintbrush. You can use a different paintbrush and then rub it all together. There you go. Nice orange. So tell us how you make orange, Madeline. What to tell Red us? Red and yellow. We just showed them. <laughs> so, so then you got like nice orange like that then you're gonna like wipe some of it off so you don't have too much craziness and you're gonna paint there I like that so then Gonna wash your paintbrush that like you probably know, and then get your paper towel again, and then. Ew! I just got my hands really wet. Oh, you need a bit more paper towel. We have a whole roll. Here. No, no, I just got my hands in the red. There you go. So if you got your hands in the red, you don't then like. It's always good to have a whole roll of paper towels around, eh? And then we're done with the orange, so. We're going to need some yellow, so get the yellow that you just used for making the orange. Or maybe you used the orange that was already made, so get your yellow. You want a bit of yellow there? Yep. There you go. Get your yellow. Yeah, I got it on my fingers now. So then just... There. Looks great. So it's a really not that yellowish. It's kind of an orangey yellow, but it's fading nice. So then. You want to do yellow, yellow, yellow? Beside it? No. No, you're happy with that? Yeah. Okay. And then you're going to get your green, open it, and put it on your palette. Well, it can be a piece of paper that you're mixing, but we normally use. Um, cardboard. Uh, just any old piece of cardboard and we just keep building it up. Or it can be a palette. Yeah, if you have an actual painter's mm -hmm. palette. Like on my shirt. I have a palette on my shirt. Yeah. Here's your brush. So you're going to squirt some green. It's really hard. There, you got your green. I'm going to, I do want a smaller brush. Then you're gonna take your green, start painting there. So there, the green's done. So I used a really small brush. You could have used the brush you were still using. That the other one was getting a little big. 
then you're gonna rub that on your paper towel. First, wash it. I washed it. I did for you guys. Very nice. And, and then, a shout out to everyone who's joining. Kurt, welcome. Great to have you. Hope you're following along. Would love to see your paintings. And Diana, welcome as well. It's great to have you. Yeah, as we move forward, if anyone wants to take some in-progress, work-in-progress shots and share them on the event wall with us, that'd be really cool to see how everyone's coming along. So then you're going to take your blue, open it. You guys probably know to open it. You know, put it on your palette again. It's going to be a lot of paint on that palette. I wonder what we'll do with it when we're done our painting. <laughs> I might just have an idea for you guys after. You guys can reuse it, see? You, we can show you this palette. Lots yeah. of paint been on this. Yeah, it's a it's really cool. If you use one palette and build it up and keep using it, it's kind of a, like a nice history of all the yeah, work you've done. Yeah, we don't we use cardboard. See on the back, you can see the drawings on it. Yeah. I actually drawed those. Yeah, we try we try to reuse a Why lot of stuff. Why did I around. just get the green? Oops. Where's your blue? blue it's right there. there. How funny am I? Pretty funny. Okay, so then you're going to get Jersey your blue. White, welcome. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's great to have you. I know you're working on lots of exciting projects, and we'd love to hear about them. And we look forward to seeing your unicorn. <laughs> so then after you got the blue... And yeah. Mike Corretto from the Ottawa Sun. Welcome, welcome. I hope you take some wonderful pictures of this event and make it go viral or um, actually maybe not. Welcome. So after you oh, got... sorry, we're not focused. There we go. So after you did the blue right there, you're going to wash it, like wash it, and then wipe it on your paper towel. And we've got a comment. Kelly Partridge Connor is saying the unicorns are cool. Nice. So after you wash it off, it's still a little green from the last one, but that's fine. It just got green on it. So then after you did that, you're going to... I have purple ink. I don't really know how to squirt that. All right. Well, you know what we do when we use our ink? We get a little bit of your white. You want to pass me your tub of white there, Madeline? But I don't need white. Well, we need white to add to the purple. Right? We need a base. So if you have ink... Then you can use it, but if you if oh, you don't you have that? purple or ink, purple ink or purple, then just mix it, which would be red and blue. Yeah. Do you I told you that at the front of the video. There you go. There's some white. You want to squirt some purple on there, and then you'll have purple paint. Oh. Here, I'll show you. Oh, these are hard to open. I haven't used these in a long time. We have a whole bunch of these inks these yeah. it's very very thin acrylic that i use i used to use for my yeah, paintings see, we have these and these are great to add to white paint to get any color you want there these you go these are all the inks we have yeah so and we're using the purple ink so that we kind of just use whatever paint we have around the house to do these to do our painting there there's a really nice purple for you and you're gonna get your paintbrush and Get the purple, and don't paint it all yet. Just draw a little line there, and you're going to start painting. All right. Just kind of really and the person that don't like unicorns, you don't have to paint this. You probably like what my brother's painting after this. What's unicorn. your brother going to be painting next? A fruit ball. There you go. So if unicorns aren't your thing, maybe still life is. And we're going to move into still life after this. So then you probably washed up your brush. You're going to do the paper towel. Then it looks like we just do. So do we need some pink? So again, if you, if you have a pink that's already ready, then you can use that. We do have a pink, but it's like dark. We can show you it. It looks like this. But How could we make it lighter? Do you want it lighter? No, we can just... You like it the way it is? Sure. Darcy's saying he used to have those inks and they have a lot of pigment to them. So Darcy, if you have any special tricks or tips it? for uh, using the inks, let us know. I can. And a big shout out to Rick Hopkins and Mae Kwan who just joined. Welcome, welcome. So it's, it's so going to look you. like that We're drawing similar. unicorns right now and then next up we have a special edition by Andrew O'Malley. 
and then uh, Still Life by Arlen. So welcome, and so, Reverend as well, welcome. It's going to look like this compared to this, but it might not look like that. It might, like, this might be all purple hair. Well, every, every painting comes out a little different, right? Every painting has its own beauty. So it's probably, like, not the same as my painting, but... All right, there's some lighter pink for you. And Jennifer just joined. Jennifer, welcome. Great to have you here. Let us know where you're calling in from today. So then, get the ears, paint inside the ears pink. You don't have to paint inside the ears pink. And then... So then you're just going to start painting here. I know, there's still pink a spot right there. We're going to need like a dark pink to go right there. See how that's dark pink and that's light pink? Oh, wow. You got different shades of pink going on. Yeah. So, so Darcy's telling us he took his inks and put them on a piece of paper on a turntable and tossed them and they all ran. Uh, that's an interesting way to paint. Turntable art. I like it. Mechanical. Darcy does a lot of robotic uh, art machines, so mm -hmm. I'm not surprised to hear that at all. Yeah, very cool stuff, Darcy. So just keep painting there. This is really coming together. It's really popping. It's not as this painting is not as good as this one because these have to stay different. Because look at these two, two different paintings. Same thing, but they look different. But they each have their own charm. Yeah. This one, like, kind of looks like a baby unicorn, and this one, like, looks like a more, like, bigger unicorn. Maybe it's like, you know, a, a big brother and a big sister unicorn. So. And we should still keep going. And if you're curious to see some of Darcy's work, he shared in the comments. And he does really cool stuff. From 3D printing to uh, airplane paper, airplane models, and everything in between. Yeah, like balsa wood planes, I think. Balsa wood. The squirrel project, he calls it. There, so, and you still see there's a gap right there. Well, we're going to need a darker pink for that, so. You want to just use the pink out of the bottle, not yeah. dilute it? Yeah. Here, I'll give you a little drop. I'll use it just as well. So then you saw I was using that small brush. Then for the bottom, you're going to use like a brush like that big. There you go. And so get your dark pink and start painting the gap. Oh, this is way too much pink. Yeah, I screwed up. So I know I'm on my knees. I like painting on my knees. Well, you got to get close to your subject matter. Wow, I like this. Oh, and we're still not done. No, what's the finishing touch? So then wash off your brush with, okay, so then if this part is dry, mine's not that dry, but you can either take black paint or black marker or black crayon. So I'm gonna use this my and then you're gonna Oh wow, yeah, color in the nostril. There you go. Add some nice depth to that facial cavity. And uh, we, we just got our first in progress pick from Ayumi and Dan and it looks great. Well done. Ayumi, I think you're five, four? Four or five, let us know. And it looks very nice. I love the colors and the blend. Then you can draw a heart. I want. To. Oh, wow. I like I that. always add like a pattern because actually at school when I get work and it says name, I write my name and then I draw like a little, like a star and a heart. And then. You going to color that heart in? Oh, I like that. Okay, this brush is way too big. So then you're going to get a smaller brush. And really, you 
probably already had smaller breasts. You don't have to do the heart. I'd say if you guys are going to get into this, like not that you can run off to the dollar store now or that you would, but if you happen to uh, safely be able to, I find some dollar stores have like fairly good multi-packs of brushes of different sizes. And it's nice to have like four or five different sizes, like a pointy brush and a flat brush, you know, and different sizes of those. Wow. So there you go. Look how different these are. Really different. Different, but the same. I think oh, that looks good. great. Good work, Madeline. Good, Madeline. Thank and you. And all you out there, so join they along look, well This done, one's too. the one we did not paint today. I painted like, I don't know how many days ago. Like, before the coronavirus started. And this one is how mine turned out. It looks great, Madeline. Well done. This was the one I painted before the coronavirus happened. Wow. Well, thank you for sharing your techniques today, Madeline. All right, guys. So And please post your pictures on the wall. We'd love to see them. Um, we really appreciate you joining in. Oh, and if you really want to know when I painted this painting, I can tell you because it actually has a date on it. Oh, there you go. Don't look at my name. Well, it's got the year anyway. I would suggest everybody, it's always nice to date your work and sign it. This is the year I painted And if you want to get specific, sometimes we even put the month on it. Yeah. All right. Well Thank done, you, Madeline. Madeline. Thank you so much. But don't look how you spell my name. How you spell my name is just right okay, there. Okay. So. That's private. And sure. thank you to all of you. Now stay tuned. We have two very special editions coming up. We have the polka dot parent uh, who's going to show us how to do a polka dot portrait. And we have Arlen who's going to show Hello. us how to do still life and realism with a bowl of fruit. All right, so Arlen. This is how mine two turned out. It turned out great. Thank <laughs> you, Madeline. She doesn't want to give up the attention. No, but it's and time this, for someone else's turn. If you remember, I showed you at the beginning of the video, this is what we painted That's what we last painted episode. Last time. And actually, and if you want to watch it, you can go back on the latest artist page. You can rewatch the videos. So yeah, if, if you, you want, if you missed it, you can listen to us, you know, all day and night if you want. And the last painting that. So my brother was, um... Yeah, what did Arlen paint last time? My brother time? painted this painting last yes. time, and I painted this painting last time. But my dad or my mom wasn't in this. But today, we have a special edition. Andrew O'Malley is Hi, painting. Hi, guys. And just before Andrew comes on, tell us what you'd like to see painted next time. Madeline's been talking about popsicles, potentially. Or maybe pizza. If you remember, um... Okay, it's At the first chaotic, half of the guys. video, I told you that the unicorn won with the votes because it only got one vote, and the popsicle didn't get any votes, so we're doing the popsicle next time. That right. sounds great. Maybe not with the handprints. You know what? Maybe popsicle. we can get a bigger canvas or a bigger piece of cardboard, and people can incorporate their hands. So there think about that for next yeah, time. Yeah, you can you put go. your hands, but we're going to, for the next show, is going to be painting this popsicle. You can do your own hands, but I'm not cut, teaching you Cut, how to do cut, hands. cut. Okay, I think we went a little off script there. All right. Thank you, Madeline. All right, Arlen, our next painter up, he's getting his supplies ready. And I thought, in the interim, I would, I would uh, you know, go over what I've been doing during these sessions. Thank you, Madeline. Cut. So... As you saw, we have a palette, and we end up with all this paint on our palette, and I cannot stand to see paint go to waste. Yeah, because Thank we, you, Madeline. We don't just put, like, a few paint drops and then get a new Madeline, cardboard. Madeline, Madeline, you're, yeah, you're needed in wardrobe. One of the great parts about this is you get to see the family dynamics and all the attention-seeking that goes on. I'm in front of the camera now! <laughs> Are you ready, Arlen? See, yeah. I was supposed to do all that while you were getting ready. Anyway. So we end up with all this paint on the palette that we don't want to waste. So what I like to do is paint polka dots. I've got a black canvas here. I'll use a white one, whatever. I happen to use black because I painted over something that didn't work out. They're square polka dots that look horrible. So then I have these cool little circular brushes. Uh, we have a, where's that? We got this big puffy one that Arlen used last time for his clouds. And I like to just do a layer of polka dots in between paintings. So I just grab some of that extra paint and I just do a grid. And a shout out to Joe Swim and Adrian and her family who's tuned in for the polka dot parent edition. 
and just grab that excess paint, just go to town, do a little grid, mix the paints up, have some fun with it, and every painting is an experiment. Some of them look great. Okay. Some of them look even better. All right. So that was a really rushed little job, but I like to do that to scoop up that extra paint. And to give you an example of where these go, is uh, here's one, you know, I, after the next painting, I'll wait till it dries, and I just keep adding layers. And then I end up with this little collection, all these cool little polka dot paintings. I don't know if you can see it, there's even one up there that came out really and nice. And there's this one. Sometimes you just need one layer of polka dots, and it's done, and sometimes you just keep building it up. So that's what I like to do in the middle. And I thought I'd share that with you. Madeline, it's not your turn anymore. Another thing we're learning is taking turns. Speaking of turns, it's Arlen's turn. Woo! Welcome, Arlen. So we're going to be painting this strawberry and blueberries bowl. It's a glass bowl and with a tabletop. So I'll put mine right there. I'll just... Sure, why don't you put it there? That's good. Okay. So we're going to start off with a blank canvas. I'm going to take my pencil... And I'm going to draw out where I actually want my fruits to be. So I'm going to put my strawberry right here, a blueberry right here, another little strawberry. And you can put it wherever you want. It's just I'm putting mine where I want it to be. So you just go in there and start freehanding it? Yeah. And wow. It's more like that. So it's like from, you see the, the bush. And Melanie Rushworth has said that this is so fun. Melanie, that's awesome to hear. We'd love to see your work. You're welcome to post an in-draw picture or the completed thing on the page. Thanks so much for joining. And you know what else? And I like? just did the unicorn. Yes, you did. You know what I'd like to know from the audience is how are the angles for seeing what we're doing? Is it, if, if there's anything that you know might help, and if it needs to be more zoomed in or zoomed out, I'm just curious how people are finding that. And Arlen Nicole from your class says hi. Hello, Nicole. Nicole, my Nicole, welcome. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's we'll great to a, have you. We'll do and a, I just did the unicorn. Madeline, we'll do a recap at the end and you can show your unicorn again. So Arlen, tell us what you're doing for anyone who's following along. So we're just doing the bowl. I think mine's a little off, but you know what? Every painting turns out one or like any way you want it. So I'm going to put blueberry there, blueberry there, and I'm just going to do a bunch because it's going to be a little messy. I do a little like blobby painting, so that's okay. And then we'll just fill that in. Okay. Blueberries. That's good. And then the rest, they'll just do blueberries because that's okay. Now, I'm going to do the tabletop. So, just some straight lines. And we're going to get started painting. So, first, I'm going to take my red and just pour that on the palette. Wow, you drew that quickly, Arlen. Now, are you going for a lot of detail when you draw, or are you just trying to rough it out? Just I, trying to rough it out. Okay, I might have missed that because I was cleaning a brush in the other room. So, I'm going to take a pretty simple brush like that, and just paint the strawberries red, and then we'll do some shading. Wow. And just another shout out to Emma and Adeline, who are saying hi to Arlen. Emma and Adeline, I hope it's going well. We'd love to see your unicorn. You're welcome to post it in the comments around the page, and let us know how your fruit bowl is coming along. Some more red, because sometimes it just doesn't budge. Well, that's why she's taking lessons with me. Just paint that if you want more red. Okay, so I think that's about good. And then just leave that brush, because that's good. And we're going to use that one again? Yeah. So, Arlen, how do we know, like, where the strawberries should be and where the blueberries should be? Like, 
It's just kind of well. It's just kind of like trial and error. If you don't want the blueberries a certain place, then don't put them there. But if you want it down, and it just doesn't matter that much. Okay. And we're gonna take a little black on the same brush uh -huh. and just rough it out. I think I find Arlen's approach is he kind of has an idea, and then the painting kind of comes alive as he he texturizes all the elements. Right. I think he's pretty loose about where he puts stuff. Because I've seen him work from a, a picture, for instance, like this. This is the third version of this picture. He started from a photo, and he did the first version, which is the model we're painting from today. And it just kind of morphs, and it's all, it's it's more about the technique and creating the depth. So I think, I think we're cool. done the strawberries. Those look great. And a big shout out to Stacy and her daughter Riley, who are watching along. Welcome. And now and we're gonna I take the unicorn. Some yeah. of our blue. And just squirt that on your palette. And Vicky as well. Welcome, Vicky. It's great to have you joining in. And I just painted a unicorn. Okay, you don't have to say that every and time. And then though. some white. It doesn't have to be model white. It can just be regular white. You want some goofy white, or you want no, the sporty white? No, it's it's better because okay. it just works better. I'll okay. hold the camera. Well, I the camera was great. You can hold it, but keep it and fairly just, still. All right. Oh, you you're the camera. The camera person right now. All we're gonna do is paint the blueberries. P don't put white, just paint the blueberries and then we're gonna add white. Okay. Okay, you're, you're getting a Madeline's eye view right now. She's taking a turn with the camera because this is a, 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 fa a family affair here. And I'm the one who painted the unicorn. I think someone painted a unicorn earlier and if you just tune in before we tune out, We'll do a recap, and you can see the unicorn. For those of you who don't remember, Madeline just painted a unicorn. But right now, we've yeah, got I'm a Arlen painting a very beautiful still life, which means you should keep it a little bit more still. And a big Madeline. shout out to Emery and Kian. Emery and Kian, thank you so much for joining a second time. Awesome. We love that you're uh, part of this, and we'd love to see your work. Your mom posted one of your pictures from last time, and it was really, really awesome. So we're looking forward to seeing your unicorn and your still life fruit bowl this time. Because okay. I just painted so the unicorn. For joining, guys. Thanks, Madeline. And we're going to take more of our white and just dab it in like that. And it looks a little just messy. Oh, That's okay. okay. Because we're going to add more blue. And it stays this. Big. So what are you doing here with the white? You're kind of like just, like just blending it, smearing and blending. Okay, uh -huh. Madeline. No, your turn. You had your turn. We're eight. We're we're. But I want to do another two. Or eight. Well, we have one turn per episode. Everybody joined on Arlen's. Everyone joined on yours. We yeah, got the but same there's people. New people well, on there's going to be different people. You know, this is a great exercise in that not everything can be the same for everyone at every time. Things can be fair, but that doesn't mean they're equal. And then we're going to take our white for the glass reflection. That's what I was wondering, Arlen. How do you make the bowl appear? The bowl? Wow. And this is where we take our black ah! and, and mix it in. This is, yeah. Just a little bit of black. And then more white, because we have to get the white in there. And then we're going to... That's the maybe the reflection of yours. That kind of looks like a fish bowl, but... Maybe well, maybe it's, it's a really big bowl of berries. Really big. It's a really big bowl of Ireland. A <laughs> big bowl of Ireland. Mm. Is his name Cannibal Big Bowl of Ireland? Okay. Shh. And add some mm -hmm. black if you need to. And then I'm going to just wash that brush because that's a little too much. And then white, and then just add that. That brush is pretty clumpy. That's a pretty clumpy brush. 
There's a lot of paint in there. That's good. Yeah. I'm gonna get you some new water, okay? That okay. water's getting pretty clumpy because we've been painting it a lot. And then we're gonna take our green. I forgot to mention some of that green. And that's gonna be used for the rest of the strawberry leaves. And just where we put it, just put it. Here's some fresh water. Do your brushes. You might want to sell them to the crab or something like that. Can you give them that? That would be awesome. We better cancel the show so that doesn't happen. Okay, so I'm going to take um, some light green if you have it. And as we're mixing paints here, let us know how it's coming along for you, how your bowl of fruit is looking, or maybe you're still working on your unicorn. Let us know how it's going and how it's looking for you. Feel free to post a picture in the comments. You're still working on your unicorn? Okay, and, and then... Maybe some people are doing extra touches. That's good. And then we're going to paint the background our brown. Oh, because it's on a table? Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Some of that brown. And maybe just add a little black so it's not as red. And maybe we'll add a bit of texture too. Yeah. Stop. Madeline. Maybe oh, it will. It's your fault. You're, you're going to get stepped on. Come on. Silly. Oh, I like that. That's really nice tabletop. Why do you want to look at the camera? Okay, but stop clicking, please. Madeline, could you not click? Maybe a bit more black. Oh, Matt Chisholm's here. One of my co-workers. Going well for you. He'll see my... He'll see... If you're just tuning in, Arlen's doing a still life. And I just I've, did a unicorn. And Madeline earlier had painted a unicorn in case anyone missed that. We'll have a recap and both artists will show their creations. And I hope all the other artists out there will share their creations with us through some pictures. So Arlen, tell us, walk us through what you're doing right now. You're, you're making the table and what's your technique here? My technique no. is blend black and brown together to make it a bit like... Like okay, he's smooth. doing some instruction. Let's keep it focused. Oops. And and then just I'll just drop the canvas. I dab. think they saw that. Dab nice. it. Thanks, Madeline. And then it'll like crisscross strokes, so not just like I'm gonna do a bit because that's okay. Wow. But not just like that. You're revisiting like, the old painting. Wow. Breaking new ground here. But just little crisscross strokes. And dab a lot of paint where you need it to be. And the technique is a little hard. And a big shout out to Nathan who also just joined. Nathan, welcome. So what makes the technique hard, Arlen? <laughs> the technique... Oh, I know, I think... They all snap. What makes the technique hard is that it's hard because... You need to like That's have Nathan. I went to high school with Nathan. The exact like Hey buddy. It's and a little hard because it's kind of like And Nathan, I just painted a Okay, unicorn. he's explaining the t the tabletop technique. So we're explaining why it's hard, what makes it hard, and how do you get through it? Because it it you can't just go like this. The paint isn't gonna spread properly. Okay. Because I have such thick paint. So you're kinda gonna do like X's, except really like long excess because sometimes if you don't like paint like that then it just you see like lines like that that doesn't don't don't look good so make sure to spread it a lot all the way and to spread it do you use water or what, what's the best way to spread it best way to spread it is well just i think lots of paint yeah lots of paint so then it and sweet swooping motions is what i'm seeing Yeah, really like that. And then go around the bowl. Madeline, 
Goose. Sorry, a goose just came in the studio. <laughs> Not a cobra one. chicken. Actually, I made that sound. Which Matt You can make that sound when it's your turn. Madeline O'Malley just made that sound that painted the unicorn. Enough, Madeline. That's, you're starting to be rude to your brother. And you know what? Maybe we can add a little white. Oh, really? Just wow. add a little white. Wow. To make some more texture there. Sure. So you get a little more paint to cover some of it up. And mine on the sides doesn't exactly look good, but you know what? Paintings are all different. I so. like it. It's like one of those like kind of blurry, abstract, impressionist type fruit bowls. And you know, and like I can look at it and I can either look at it from far back or I can like kind of squint at it. I, I, I like it. I like it. My don't... eye is drawn all over to, between the reds and the browns and the textures trying to figure out what I'm seeing. And uh, please don't copy me, but I like to do my signature. Wow. Sometimes it's a little messy, but... Cool. Do you leave the tabletop like jagged like that? Or yeah, because make... maybe it's a little wood. Okay. I think it's, yeah. That's so. one of his styles. And it's done. Good stuff. And just right. to remind you, Let's this is recap. how mine turned out. And that's well, it. This good. one's the one I painted today. This one's the one I painted, like, before the coronavirus. Wow, guys. Um, it's upside down, Bella. And that's it. So it's kids teaching kids. Um, I think that's pretty much it for today's lesson. Let us know how so. you found it. Let us know if you like this and you want to continue doing it. And if so, what you'd like to see next time or what you'd like to paint next time. And so this is my unicorn that I painted. And this is the unicorn I painted today. Wow. And, and there's the fruit bowls. so much for joining in. Uh, we hope this provides some good activity for you during this really trying time. And we're really hoping to establish a community where, where people are sharing their talents and skills yeah. and helping each other okay. through now let's zoom this in. difficult time. All right. That's, well, you, okay, you're going to get brown on the bottom of it. Sure. All right. <laughs> it's been a blast. We'll see you guys. We'll keep every, uh, everybody updated. I think we'll do one every couple days, maybe once during the week and once on the weekends. So thank you for tuning in. I'm going to continue with my polka dots that I told you about. I've got lots of paint from Arlen's to add, and I'll show you where I got next week. And next time we're going to do this popsicle. And what are you going to paint next time, Arlen? I'm, I think we're going to do the oh, oranges. oranges. And we're going to paint um, this yeah. popsicle. Maybe not with purple hands. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Bye. Bye.